Hello and welcome to another video with me, you winner and traits, picking over the last time where I went towards Morocco, which at that point was basically just the stuff they had over here in Indonesia, what they had left in Africa, and then also went and took over Iran, getting all that stuff up there, did trade deals to clean up borders around here, and then I went after China, Got all of that off of them. And then went and took over the country that was over here, which is basically Vietnam, which also had that islands there. And yeah, that's basically everything I did in the previous episode there. This episode I am going to be finishing off China, and also Japan over there. And then I guess I'll try to get all South American if I can get all that done. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing after that, but I could possibly fight a war with France, maybe? I'm not entirely sure, because I would like to get the stuff they have over here in Africa at this point and not, ha and not uh, just buy it off of them, like I have with a decent chunk of the lands they had, I think, over there. But, um, yeah. I think I'm basically already prepared for this war, I think, for the most part. Just need to split up an army over here to go into this area. Yeah. Have an army going to Korea up here in that peninsula and one to go into Shanghai, basically. All the rest of my troops just advance along the border. And I'm already halfway, and I've already taken Beijing as well. Million points three casualties. They've had two million. Great. And, and this should easily be the final turn for this whore, without question. Yeah, just need to take a little bit more Korea, basically. So, 1.7 million casualties, and they had 2.6. Okay. Take all land, of course. And then I guess I'll send all the troops over to here. And they can then get prepared to go after Japan. Okay, so it's time to go after a Tokugawa over here. Let's see how this goes. I forgot about this. And those provinces there are connected to each other. Oh well. Uh, okay. Holy shit, this is one-sided. <laughs> 120 casualties for me, 20,000 casualties for me, and one, over a million for them. God damn. And there we go. Yeah, very one-sided. That works for me, because it means I have more troops to go into South America now. That's good. So I'll now group up my entire army over here, get province stability done and everything else, and all these troops will be going over to South America to take over the next country. Okay, so, time to start things down here in South America. Already got this southern tip down here by doing trade deals, considering most of it was controlled by Sweden for some reason. Okay, sure, whatever, I guess. Apparently they had... Huh. 
apparently there is some islands over here that I never took. Huh. Okay, whatever. Let's get back to work over here and taking them over. Ah, well, this is already a very one-sided war, to be honest, here. They've only had 300 casualties, and they've had 700,000. I'm already a fifth away done, apparently. Okay, lost 800,000 troops. They lost 1.7 million. Take a land, do a trade deal with Sweden to get these last two provinces they have right here. And there we go. Good. Now province stability for all this land. Then I'll go after Brazil. Okay, got all that done. Troops are ready to go out to Brazil, so let's get that started. Brazil has horrible technology in comparison to me, so this should be super easy to deal with them. Are you serious? I've taken this much of their country and they still have not capitulated. What the fuck? Eh, oh, well. Three hundred sixty thousand casualties. Well, they had two point two million. Damn. Of course, I'm taking all of that land. Now I got the old province ability for it all. And, um, starts lining up troops up on the border with Colombia. New Grand, you know, isn't up there. Oh, the United States and Britain are at war with each other. Oh. Honestly, I like that. I like that a lot. And apparently Denmark is a tour with France and is somehow winning. Oh, and Britain's also a tour. Okay, I guess that makes more sense now. <laughs> Britain is a also a tour with Portugal. France is a tour with Russia and Spain. What in the world is going on? Okay, Russia just went to war with France. Portugal and the United States formed a coalition against Britain. Denmark, Britain, and Spain formed a coalition against France. Okay. Sure. I guess I could toss my hat into the ring there after I deal with them, I think. As long as those whores are still going. Because I really want to take out Britain wipe out that 30 million fucking troops they have. Yeah. I really want to get rid of the 30 million troops they have. I need them to be... get them to capitulate. Okay. Go ahead and start that war there. This is current situation over here with that war. Yeah. And the happiness around here. Yeah, horrible. Tons of unrest as well. The war with France is already over. And Denmark ended up getting all of that. Yeah. God damn. Denmark also apparently got that. The Suez Peninsula or whatever. Huh. Weird. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this war going here and take the rest of South America.
Okay, I lost 100,000 troops. They lost 1.7 million. Okay, there we go. Got that done. I right, now we we'll just need to line some troops up over here, I guess. And then everything else is going to get ready for Britain, who has formed a union with Spain. And um, yeah, before I start that war, I'm going to fix the damn color of their country there, because that is super annoying. <laughs> Okay, so I got troops ready and everything at this point for this war with Britain. And I have fixed Britain's color here, so yeah. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. Britain shouldn't really have too many troops over here in Morocco. So this shouldn't be too much of a problem to start with. I'm not actually going to be invading Britain itself until... Until I have finished this stuff down here. Because I want to make Britain capitulate. And I want to... So that means making sure I get as much land as possible before I actually go over here. Because there's... It's just a matter of time, basically, until... I end up lose... Start losing things over here because of how large their army is. Because they have... 35 million troops right there in London, for fuck's sakes. That's larger than my entire fucking army. Okay, so at this point I have managed to finish off Morocco and I also got all the Caribbean islands under my control with an exception to Cuba because I basically lost all the troops that I had and everything at this point and I only have these 370,000 left which is absolutely not going to be able to take over Cuba by themselves so I'm just going to have to deal with that I guess. But over here, I have started attacking, taking Gore Ireland, since I think I should be able to take it without Britain doing anything with the 35 million troops they have in London. Okay, so took quite a bit of fighting, but I got Ireland under my control, and I think I'm basically ready at this point to try to invade Britain itself. Yeah! Oh boy. 12 million casualties at this point. I have 22 million troops, and I did take full advantage of the fact that I have Ireland under my control currently and recruited troops there to replace everything I lost trying to take Ireland. So yeah, 4 million troops there, 4 million there, 2 million, 3 million, and then 2 million up there which are which is going to be my main distraction to get them to move those 35 million troops out of London. But, um, yeah. I guess I'll go ahead and try this attack there. Okay, that's not even 35 million troops. It's now 45 million. Holy crap, I need to get them to capitulate quickly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I need to destroy that army. Get them to capitulate as quickly as I possibly fucking can. I cannot let them keep that fucking army. Jesus Christ. Ha 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 ha. 
Goodbye, Britain. <sighs> Doing the Mount Naval Invasion site did was fucking amazing. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven invasions in total for all that. <sighs> and of course, they still have that army and stuff. Hmm. But they can't exactly do much with it right now, I think. Oh boy. <laughs> Have the United States get peace there. Oh boy. This is good. The fact that I can actually just take Britain over completely is so nice. Ah, oh boy, oh boy. The biggest threats to me in the world has been completely destroyed. Ah, yes. You know what? I'm just going to ignore that rebellion right there. Because it is literally the only bits I have over there in the mainland Canada. Okay, so... I got France to go back, go to war with Denmark, Norway here, just to deal with this, because Denmark and Norway still haven't really even gotten province ability done after all this time, because, yeah. They basically, like, tripled the size of their country, I think, or something. <laughs> There's no way they're going to be able to deal with that, so, yeah. First few turns in this war, they were actually doing pretty good, I guess, but, yeah, France already turned things around pretty quickly. Well, there you go. Hmm. Okay. Sure. Not that bad, I guess. Got all that stuff back and everything, that's good. But this, seriously, what's with this border, France? What the fuck? Ah, God. But, um, let's see here. How's the United States doing with that stuff? Eh, they're getting there, slowly. Let's go ahead and have them deal with these other countries that got independence during that war. Now, I'm going to bring my army over here and deal with these myself. Because I'm going to basically use these, all this stuff as an excuse to basically just buy Quebec off of the United States, I think. I guess just buy the rest of Canada off of them. Okay, reload that. <laughs> yeah, they still have that army. <laughs> Apparently. Okay. In that case, um, I want you to be distracted while I do this. Okay, try again. Have them go after Canada instead. Yeah. That should be much better. Or not, I guess, because they already finished that fucking war. Ah, uh, boy. The fact they have that fucking army still is just ridiculous. There. Let's go to war just a turn earlier in order to get them to capitulate before either of those wars were over. 
Oh, yeah, there we go. Got that done. Good. Now, time to go after New Palmondor here. And now for Canada. Hmm, okay. Sicily parents he is at war with France now. They're the ones that started it. What the fuck are you doing? Huh? Oh well, you're gonna die. But um yeah, I think at this point I'm probably going to end this episode here. Cause yeah. I made a good amount of progress. I basically finished off Asia, took the entirety of South America, and defeated Britain. Britain being the biggest thing, in all honesty, because of how large their fucking army was. There you go, France. Finally you finished that. Jesus. Took you a bit too long to do that. Now, I'm going to do trade deal with you here, I guess, at this point. Or... Good chunk of this land, I guess. Basically take Algeria, I guess. Just do that. They're not going to get me any of this, are they? Until they started province built you know all <sighs> yeah looks like it there just colonize those four provinces and give it to them because that was honestly the main thing that was kind of annoying me was that border uh... Looks like they finally started doing province ability. Okay. There. That stuff's cleaned up. Good. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll just leave it at that here. Next episode, I guess I'll be finishing off the Americas, taking over the United States over there, I guess. And, uh, honestly not sure about Europe. I could tr see about going in and doing a bit. But I think I'm gonna want to hold off on taking get up and for another episode or something, possibly. Unless things end up going by very quickly in the next episode. But I'm just going to assume assume that there's two more episodes. One where I'm doing finishing off the Americas. I'm taking a bit more of Europe, I guess, and Africa possibly. And then final episode where I just finish things off. I'm just going to do this right quick before I end. There. That's better. Okay. There we go. So, yeah, that there is going to be the end. Two more episodes, probably, I'm guessing. Unless things are quick in the next episode. But, yeah, that's there is going to be the end of this video. I hope you've all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.